Quick recap of Vasily Lomachenko and Jorge Linares. A fight which took place in Madison Square Garden last Saturday for Jorge's WBA and Ring Magazine lightweight world titles. Now, coming into this fight, Jorge was whack, so I'm not surprised he ended up on his back. Fundamental problem with Jorge is that his hands might be fast, but his feet are slow, and he throws the punches in exactly the same speed. Also, punch resistance is shockingly bad. He cuts up pretty much every every fight. He doesn't handle pressure fighters too well. Poor defense, too stationary when he's blocking punches. And in this fight, he just simply couldn't get out of the way of Vasily's jab. Now, Jorge had... The considerable weight differential, 13 pounds, was longer, taller, more experienced at lightweight. But he doesn't understand controlling distance, spacing, um, didn't try and work behind the jab. He really should have bullied Vasily, but he allowed Vasily to work on him, work around him. Vasily likes to analyse, dissect, you know, almost work like a woodpecker, work around the clock. And that's what he did. He just broke him down, you know, dismounted him and knocked him out. You know, Jorge should feel embarrassed being knocked out by a, you know, 126 pounder. Didn't try and work behind the jab. He was just trying to target with power punches, straight punches, which can be quite decent because you're not setting up your punches with a jab and then the right hand. You know, Vasily has got that con lead control hand. He's fencing with that right hand. He's pouring out, controlling distance. He's getting that lead hand in your. F but they say. Timing beats speed, but feints ultimately disrupts timing. And that's what Vasily does. He feints exceptionally well, and he, and he feints excessively, both with his upper body, his knees, his feints, his feinting, his probing. It's perpetual motion, so it's quite difficult to target that opponent. Now, Jorge, he would land three good punches, but he couldn't sustain his attacks. He really should have pushed Vasily back, but he couldn't. Each time he would land a combination... A nice combination, particularly to the body. Vasily would come straight back with the jab. He just could not miss with that jab. And when he when he busted up his left eye, he was targeting that left eye. But then eventually, he, um, another problem with uh, Jorge Linares, he gasses. His stamina is exceptionally bad. And his power dissipates once he gets tired. And you can see in the 8th and 9th round, he didn't have very much on his punches. So Vasily, he dissected. You know, his style is very much, you know, death by a thousand cuts. You know, he's not a one-punch explosive puncher, but he's accurate and he's busy. And he'll, and, the, and the reason why Vasily Lomachenko lasts a 12 round is it's not only about he's exceptionally conditioned, athlete disciplined, you know, always in training. is because he doesn't load up on his punches. Um, he's doing touch shots. He's just probing, dissecting, picking you off a little bit. Once you get tired, once you get frustrated, then he starts, you know, to put a little bit more mustard behind his punches. And that's what he was doing with the body attack. You could see Jorge was getting tired. Linares' movement was becoming a little bit ragged. Um, then he stepped it up and, uh, you know, knocked him out. And uh, not surprised at all. So, you know, Linares, you know, free wet world champion, but he's the prototypical you know, style over substance fighter, you know, there wasn't a real, a lot of substance to his, you know, his fighting style, you know, he's been beaten up, what, you know, domestic level fighters, you know, you know, Luke Campbell and, uh, you know, Kevin Mitchell, who, you know, he's been beaten up a lot of Brits, but the Brits were actually beating him up, if you look at the fights very carefully, until, you know, Kevin Mitchell had that golf boy eye syndrome, you know, and then uh, Luke Campbell, you know, he was cut, flawed, but he got up and I felt he controlled pretty much the middle rounds. It was out boxing Jorge. But Jorge came back in the championship rounds. May have nicked the last two rounds. So Luke, you know, sadly didn't, um, for him, you know, didn't capitalize on all his good work from the early middle and late rounds. So Vasily Nomichenko picks up, you know, his third weight world, world title. You know, and all of these, are, you know, ridiculous comparisons are now that he's you know, surpassed all of these great fighters in doing it so quickly. But you got to remember, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather, you know, they were they were very young when they were when they were three weight world champions. They were sort of 24, 25. You know, Vasily campaigned a lot longer in the amateurs, you know. You know, multiple Olympic Games, you know, two gold medalists. So, you know, he's 30 years old. So, you know, Igor Klimas and, and, and Bob and top rank, you know, they can't hold him back, you know, they've got to push him quickly, you know, he's in his peak now, he's in his prime, you know, he's got to capitalise, and when Aiba went from, you know, the, um, 
the um, point system to a 10 point must system you know um vasily was a you know at 132 pounds so you know when he camp started campaigning in the professional ranks he went down to 126 pounds so he's obviously bigger than all of those fighters so um so he's now he's at his natural sort of natural weight um i'm not sure how much more expansion he has i don't know if he can get up to you know 140 pounds it might be a little bit difficult you know fighters are you know punching a lot harder and we saw how you you know a straight right hand was able to put him down you know it may have been a flash punch but it wasn't an off balance punch if you look at the fight carefully you know Vasily actually sees the punch coming but he tries to tuck up he tries to chuck tuck his chin down but the punch landed with some force and you see Vasily's top half of his body dip and then fall in the opposite direction so there was a great deal of power you know to that punch but he you know he recovered well conditioned athlete and uh, you got to give, give credit to him you know he dissected him knocked him out so ray beltram next so you know yet, yet another easy cherry pick for him uh beltram a veteran um you know been gifted a world title eventually so that'll be a unification and uh mikey garcia uh the other fight against uh robert easter um maybe easter has a chance but you know he's 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 been regressing so badly well he's always regressed you know i've always i've always dismissed him as a you know as a high level caliber fighter so chances are mikey you'll pick up that title and whether a unification can happen with vasily i highly doubt it you know television networks and you know acrimonious promotional disputes between mikey and, and you know top rank you know um but you know mikey wanted to extricate himself you know be the master of his own destiny and i don't blame him for that you know bob top rank you know bob arum extremely powerful individual but he's very notorious for having you know extremely rigid contracts um fighters uh you know it's very difficult for them to you know to get out of these contracts you know there's not a you no know, visible exit clauses you know so, so, so there's a lot of murky waters behind those arrangements so can't blame a guy who wants to be autonomous independent you know, control his own destiny, negotiate the purses autonomously. So, but Bob, Bob will make him an offer. Hopefully, that fight can happen. Um, I would favour uh, Vasily Lomachenko. I don't think conventional, sort of fundamental, uh, vanilla f boxes are going to cause him any trouble. I think to stop Vasily Lomachenko, you have to shut down his legs. You know, high intensity pressure fighters. You know, who step on him. Uh, a little bit what Orlando Salido was doing, you know, just const constricting his room. Yeah, I know all about the low blows, but, you know, that's what you've got to do. You've got to try and outwork him. And uh, and uh, for all of uh, Orlando Salido's, uh, you know, roughhouse tactics, but that's what he does. You know, that's what, you know, fighters have been doing in the past, you know. You know, you got to, you got to, you got to learn how to deal and adapt with all of those conditions. And uh, I think like Vasily Lomachenko sort of remonstrating to the referee for some exceptionally low blows, whatever. But a couple of them looked actually clean, whereas he was, you know, moaning to the referee. And uh, you don't really want to be exposing your deficiencies too easily because once you come up against power punches who do target that body, you know, you know that 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 could be. So the, role, so the roles could be reversed and he could go down with a body shot like that. So, you know, I don't like that. Let the referee do his job, you know. But uh, anyway, that's, that's a quick recap of the fight. Corruption in boxing, transmission over.